Hello and welcome to another edition of The Cocktail Guy. If this is your first time watching, thank you. I hope you enjoy my content and find it inspiring. If you do, please do take a few seconds and hit that subscribe icon. For those of you who are continuing to watch my content, thank you to you too and to all of you. Welcome to the first video of 2021. So today, I would like to make for you a classic that for many a year used to be one of my favorites, as well as my riff on that, the daiquiri. And back when I started my bartending journey, I used to manage a bar in London, Soho called El Floridita, affectionately known as the cradle of the daiquiri, which was a Western spin on the Cuban classic. Famously known for their beautiful, silky smooth daiquiris, and most notably, but amongst many others, their Hemingway daiquiri. Now this Cuban classic, a riff on a sour, comprises of just three ingredients. A light style Cuban rum or an alternative, and today I've opted for Bacardi's Carta Blanca. Some fresh lime juice or some pre-squeezed limes, which I have here, and some sugar syrup. Now I like to make my own sugar syrup and traditionally I opt for a two to one ratio. That being two parts sugar and one part water. To make the sugar syrup, Simply add 250 grams of caster sugar to a container and pour over 125 mils of warm water. Now I like to add a little bit of a zing to my sugar syrup, so I opt to add one to two drops of orange flower water or orange blossom, which I find really lifts the cocktails that it's in. But you can choose to omit. Now to make this cocktail, all you need to do is grab your shaker and measure out 50 mils of your desired rum. Twenty five mils of lime juice, and twenty mils of sugar syrup. Give it a quick mix to incorporate all those ingredients. And add the ice. And give it a good shake. and then double strain it into your glass. Now I've opted for a little martini glass, but you can use a coupette if you wish, or alternatively double strain it over cube ice in a rocks glass. and then simply garnish it with a wedge of lime. And there we have it. A simple classic, beautiful sour, light style Cuban rum, fresh lime juice, glorious homemade sugar syrup, simple drink. There we have it. I haven't had one of these for so long. So good. Okay guys, I'm gonna clear up and I'll see you in one second for the riff. Okay guys, and now for the riff. So you're still gonna need your light style rum, your fresh lime juice, and your sugar syrup. But this time, we are going to elevate our classic daiquiri by washing our spirit with an oil. Now, oil washing is very similar to fat washing in the sense that it not only imparts texture and flavor to your spirit or to your cocktail, it kind of gives a really nice kind of creaminess, which in this case, in this classic sour riff, works a treat. 
Now, if you only have olive oil at home and it is a good quality olive oil, please do use it. Otherwise, why don't you just pimp, why don't you just go a little bit further with your cocktail and pimp your drink? Uh, you can use a coconut oil or an apricot kernel oil or even a nut oil that I am opting for today. And I have gone with a macadamia nut oil. The process is super simple. You do not need any fancy pieces of equipment. In fact, all you need is a little takeaway plastic container that's sealable, a bit like a lunch box or similar, like a, this is like a small person's snack box. That's, that's tiny. Uh, anyway, that is absolutely fine for what we are using it for today. Uh, you're also going to need a tall vessel and some coffee paper to pass your infusion through. The process is simple. All you need to do is pour in 200 mils of your light style rum into your takeaway container. Add to that 25 mils of your flavored chosen food grade oil. Seal the container and give it a little bit of a roll to encourage the infusion process. Set it aside for a minimum of six hours and every time you think of it, pick it up, just give it another little roll to encourage that infusion. And then once it's ready, open the lid and then pass the liquid through the coffee filter. And what will happen is the spirit with the infusion will drip through the paper, but the oil, the unwanted oil that you do not need will be left behind and you can later discard it. If you do, however, have one or two drops of the oil, fret not, all you need to do is simply pass that spirit back through the same coffee paper, the same filter, until the oils have been removed and then discard the coffee paper. Bottle it and then you'll have the most buttery, textural, nutty oil or, you know, coconut flavored oil if you've used a coconut oil or a macadamia oil as I've used. Apricot kernel will impart some really nice kind of marzipan notes. An olive oil though, a great olive oil, would just impart some really nice buttery, also deep, nutty, floral, vegetal notes, which will also work super well in this kind of drink. If how you never used oil in, in drinks, in a sour, uh, as an emulsifier, to wash a spirit with, get involved guys, it is absolutely delicious. Just obviously make sure that you just use it moderately in a cocktail. So the drink, otherwise much the same as a cocktail we have already made. We are gonna take our shaker and we are gonna add 50 mils of our infused rum. Now here is one that I have already made. I have filtered it through. It's been fit, infused for six hours, or about six and a half hours actually for this one. And then I pass it through a coffee filter and what you have is this beautiful clear rum with the macadamia nut infusion. So to this we're gonna add 50 mils to our shaker. And then you're gonna add your fresh lime juice, 25 mils. Remember the same recipe as the classic. 20 mils of your sugar syrup. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a mix just to encourage all of those in flavors. Add our ice. And then give it a good shake. Again, like the classic, I've opted for a small martini or coupette glass, but you can, as I said before, strain it over cube ice into a rocks glass. Here is my drink here, in my glass rather. And then garnish wise, you can use a lime zest if you wish, just expressed over the top of the glass and then down the stem. But it's a classic or a riff on a classic. So I've just gone with a classic garnish and I've just used a lime wedge. The effort's in the drink. I love deceptively simple looking cocktails that taste anything but. And there we have it guys. Two daiquiris, the classic, an uber simple sour, essentially three ingredients and our riff. Three ingredients plus the infused oil. Cracker, let's give it a go.
Oh, my heat. Love the nuttiness in that. A little bit on the tash there. So what we have obviously is a buttery, smooth, textural, sour, sweet, classic daiquiri with the addition of the macadamia nut infusion. It's lush, it's buttery, as I said, it's textural, it's delicious. Now I've been using Lightstyle rums in my daiquiris for absolute years, way back to when I started work at Floridito in Soho. But a sour drink, apart from a margarita, it's not been my go-to classic. It's been a Manhattan, it's been a Martinez, a Bovardier, the Negroni, obviously, or even an Old Fashioned, but sours, epic. Here you go, guys. I hope you enjoy. Please do get involved. Let me know if you like the content. Give me a thumbs up, please, as I said at the beginning of the video. Do you, if you like the videos, don't give me a thumbs down there. That's just, that's just rude. Don't give me a thumbs down. Do, however, as I said, please do smash that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. Tell your friends to join and subscribe so they're aware of any new content as it arrives. Drop any comments below the post should you have any questions. But until the next video, guys, I am wishing you all the very best for 2021 and I shall see you in the next video. Cheers.